welcome to your quick stretch. Get up from your desk, take a nice wide stance with your feet. Take a nice big breath in and bring those shoulders up, back and down. And we're gonna bring our chin down to our chest and let our head just hang. Then you're gonna bring your chin back up, look up at the ceiling and back down, looking over your right shoulder and over the left and take it into a nice big head roll to the right, all the way around. And to the left. Until your chin comes back down to your chest. And then from here, we're gonna lift chin back up and we're gonna bring both of our arms up above the head. Take a nice big breath in, reach those arms up as high as you can and bring them back, open behind you, nice big arm circles. Bring them up, around and back. About three each direction, so we will switch, rotate to the front, take it nice and slow. And bring it all the way up, both arms out. Nice wide stance position with the feet. Drop that right arm down. Left arm comes up and over. And release. Reach out with that right side to go up and over to the left. And back up. Interlock the fingers behind you. Pull those arms back. You can hinge it over at the hips if you want to increase that stretch. And bring it back up. From here, we're just going to do a couple body rolls. So we're going to take our chin down to our chest. Let the shoulders cave forward. Press the top of your spine out. And roll, think vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down until either your hands hit the floor or wherever you stop and then slowly inhale back up same thing reverse that process coming all the way back up to standing and then take a nice big breath in and repeat bring it down one more time curve slowly through the back down to the ground if you can place your hands on the ground you can go right ahead. If you need to take a slight bend in the knees to get your hands on the ground, you can bend your knees. You want to feel that stretch behind your hamstrings. And then straighten if you're bending and straightening the legs. Nice small bend to a straight. And then from here, we're going to walk those hands out a little bit further in front of us. We're going to go into a nice downward dog. So adjust that position. Press through those hands and shoulders. Sit those hips back, press through. And we're gonna flatten out into a plank. Bring it down nice and slow. And we're gonna bring our left leg forward. Pressing those hips down. Left arm comes up to the ceiling. Really open up that chest. And bring it back down. We're gonna drop that right knee down to the ground. And I want you to keep both hands on the inside of that left foot. I want you to focus on pressing those hips diagonally down towards the floor. And hold it here. And then we're gonna sit back, straighten out that front leg. Straighten it as much as you can. Whoops. You can flex the foot. And then rock back through it, pressing it forward one more time. 
If you can get a little bit lower, you can drop it down onto your elbows. And then we're gonna come out of that. We are gonna lift our toes off the floor and we're gonna turn our foot out to the left. And then we're just gonna slowly open and press that knee away from us towards the left until you feel that stretch right behind the hip. Very gentle stretch here. And then you're gonna slowly bring it back in line, readjust the foot and cross that left foot over to your right hand and bring it down into a pigeon. Wherever you're comfortable, you can also bend both, both knees to have more of a stag position if that's more comfortable. Otherwise you can keep that back leg straight and bring it down onto the elbows or on the hands. Take a nice big deep breath and we're gonna come up and bring that leg underneath. So we're on all fours and we're gonna rock it back into our child's pose. And take three nice big deep breaths. And bring it up onto all fours, into our downward dog, lift, hips come up, rock it back. And then from here, right leg comes under. Watch that foot, make sure it's right underneath the knee. And we're gonna lift our right arm up to the ceiling. And bring it back. We are gonna drop the knee down. And again, press those hips forward and down. Hold it here. And then inhale to rock back. Straighten out that front leg. And then rock it back forward. This time, both hands on the inside of that right foot. You can drop it down onto the elbows or stay up on the hands for a couple more nice deep breaths. And then we're gonna lift, walk that right foot over towards your left hand. Let that knee come down to the side and bring it down into a pigeon. And you can hold yourself up right here. Or, you know, the drill, drop it down to the elbows. And if you need a little bit of a modification, you can bend that back knee and bring it in to a stag. And bring it back up. Oh, we forgot to push it away. So bring that right foot back out in front, leaning it forward, those hips down. We're gonna lift the toes up, turn them out to the right. Again, slowly press that right foot away from you, away from the midline. And bring it back in line. Bring that knee underneath. And we're gonna rock back to our child's pose. And from here, we're gonna take our right arm, thread it underneath our left, and slide it as far as you can underneath, and reach as far as you can. Then you're gonna take your left arm, bring it up into the air, open as wide as you can. You wanna keep that hand in line with the shoulder. You don't wanna bring it too far back. Nice open. And then we're gonna bring it back down. Come out of that position, reach back through your child's pose. Reach, reach, reach. And then come up, thread that left arm under the right. 
and turn and look underneath that other arm. Reach through. When you feel stable, you can pick up that right arm, bring it up into the air. And bring it back down. Back through child's pose. One last reach. And then we are going to turn it over onto our back. And just flip it right over. Roll it out. And from here, we're gonna pull both of our knees into our chest. And then hold onto our right knee, extend our left leg out straight, place it down on the ground. And then behind the thigh, we're gonna hold and extend that leg as straight as you can. You wanna hold it in that position where you feel that tension, but not pain and roll that ankle around a few times in both directions. And then you can flex the foot and point the foot. Flex and point. We're gonna bend the knee, bring it down. And I want you to point the foot to extend it back to a straight leg. And then you are gonna flex the foot one more time as you bend it to bring it down, to point it and extend it up. And you wanna pull it a little bit closer each time. This is gonna help our muscles elongate a little bit more. Hold it, take a nice deep breath in, and then cross it up and over to your left, pulling it across the body. And back through center and bring both knees back to the chest. Grab onto the left, extend the right, place it down. We're gonna pull that left leg up, getting it as straight as you can, a little bit of a bend in the knee is fine. And same thing, we're gonna do some ankle rolls. You might notice you have some tension in your ankles or in the front of your feet. Can't forget to stretch our feet and our ankles so important. And then same here, we're gonna do three, bend and straighten. So you're gonna flex the foot, bend it, come down to point and extend and flex, bend it down, extend, point. And one more time, flex that foot, point it and extend all the way up. And then pull it up and over to your right side. And cross it all the way over. Try to keep both shoulders on the ground, square to the ceiling. And then bring it back through center, bring both legs in. And go ahead for a happy baby. We're gonna grab the insides of those feet. And you can hold on to the insides and press those knees down on each side of you. And bring the feet down to the ground. All right, last thing, we're just going to put our feet flat on the ground. I want you to pull that core into the, to the floor and tilt those hips back and squeeze your glutes together. And I want you to lift the hips up off the ground into a bridge and just hold this position. Focus on squeezing your glute muscles together. If you were to put your hands underneath and you were to feel your cheeks, they should be flexed. And that's what's keeping you up. And then we're gonna slowly release, bring it back down. And then we're just gonna squeeze and lift one more time. Inhale, lift, and hold for three, two, one, and sit yourself up. Come into a butterfly position for our last little stretch. Take a nice inhale in and curve it over. Get as close to your toes as you can. Use your elbows to help press your knees down.
And inhale up, extend the legs out, shake them out. And that is it for today, you guys. Don't forget to drink your water. If you have not drank water today, this is your reminder. If it is nice where you are, go spend five minutes outside. It's your homework for the day. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.